Every one of us is on a journey. Each path we walk takes us somewhere. Hi, I'm Jean Noël from Made New. You can't be in New Zealand for long without developing a love for nature. Whether we walk alongside streams of water or along beautiful forest trails, we are undoubtedly walking on a path. Every so often, as we walk along, the path splits. We are required to make a choice. Often, there are signs to tell us what lies down each path. Other times, there are no signs, only the imprinted soil from previous travelers. In 1915, Robert Frost wrote a poem called The Road Not Taken. In this poem, he shares about his difficulty in deciding which path to follow. Many people have connected with the words in the poem. Perhaps you know the final stanza. Two roads diverged in a wood. I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. The freedom to choose our own path is one of God's greatest gifts to us. He doesn't control or manipulate. The choice is ours. At each turn, we have the freedom to go our own way or to choose God's path. The Bible assures us that God's path is always the best. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, God Himself says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In every fork in the road of life, I'm going to ask God which way is His path, which way leads to a new and better me, which way leads to my life being made new according to God's will. I want to go that way. How about you?